Joining us as he does each month here on WHKY TV News is District Attorney Scott Riley, who represents the 36th Prosecutorial District, that is Catawba, Burke, and Caldwell counties. Always a pleasure to have you in the studio, and we've got a lot to talk about. And the first thing we want to talk about, I'm guessing both of us didn't want to talk about this again, but masks are once again a part of our life out in a lot of public spaces, including the courtroom. Right. Uh, unfortunately, the la last time I was here with you, I was talking about how the court system had got back to normal. Um, unfortunately, since then, as people have seen the rise in the number of cases of COVID, we've had to take uh, precautions. Uh, we want to do our best to ensure the safety of the people that come into the courthouse. And just yesterday, uh, Judge Nathan Poovey, our senior resident Superior Court judge, uh, did make a modification to his prior order and issued a mask mandate. So now that anybody that comes into the uh, courtroom, whether or not you've been vaccinated, whether or not you've had COVID and recovered, uh, to get into the courthouse, in all three counties, Burke, Caldwell, and Catawba, you must wear a mask or you will not be allowed entrance. Now, if folks want to check on this as, as things go along, say the cases should start to drop, which some of the health experts think might happen with the Delta Hopefully. variant. Yeah, that, that's what they're hoping for. Is there a way that folks can check on this if they have a court appearance coming up in the coming weeks uh, to see if anything's changed? Uh, because, uh, you know, people might be interested right. should remember if the, you know, just in case they don't remember to bring a mask with them or whatever they, the case may be. Right. They can always go to CatawbaDA.com. That is our district attorney website, and we will put a copy of the latest order um, and and what, what's happening with our mass mandate and if that changes it'll it'll go immediately on our website and of course you can always check out uh, also go to the Catawba County Health Department and check in as far as uh, countywide what's going on but we do appreciate that update you know sorry that this had to happen again which but I know everybody's right. just trying to be safe especially in a situation in a setting like a courtroom where you're gonna have a lot of people there in some cases right and especially jurors we want to make sure the jurors are safe so that when they come in to do their duty our criminal justice system does not work w without jurors that come in uh, uh, to sit and, and on our cases. We can't resolve cases without jurors and we want to do everything we can to make sure that their experience is a safe one. And the good news is that as opposed to about a year and a half ago when we saw this start uh, rising, the case counts and so forth, you are still having jury trials. Right. We haven't canceled anything. That's the, that's the good news. We are just making sure that, you, that the people that come into the courthouse are wearing a mask. Well, thank you so much for the update. Uh, a lot going on. I know you're staying busy, still trying to uh, work a lot of these cases through. You had a backlog due to COVID in 2020, but I know that uh, your office is working hard to get some of these cases resolved. We are trying to resolve all of our cases despite the um, backlog of cases of not being able to hear cases for an entire year, um, but we're doing our very best. Well, thank you for coming in. Always good to see you. Thank you very much. District Attorney Scott Riley, 36th Prosecutorial District, that is Catawba, Burke, and Caldwell Counties, and he'll join us again next month here on WHKY-TV News.